Okay, we're ready for chapter two in our story about Anna and Elsa, Frozen, and the Phantoms. Elsa picked up the next sheet from the huge pile of paperwork on her desk and tried to focus on it. Annual report on projected dandelion pollination reservation committee, subparagraph three, all rights withstanding. With a thunk, the newish queen of Arendelle let her head fall onto her desk. She let out a sleepy yawn, even though it was barely midday. Normally, she wouldn't be this tired, paperwork or no paperwork. But she had been up late the night before working out the details of the surprise banquet for her younger sister, Anna. Elsa and Elsa had been planning it with her court counselors for weeks, and now it was just one day away. It was a complicated event, and everything had to go just right, which especially meant that Anna couldn't know about it. And she found out... Well, then it wouldn't be as much of a surprise, would it? Elsa returned her attention to the paper in her hand. Before she could begin to read it, a loud squeal distracted her. It sounded almost like a pig, Anna's voice rose over the squealing. No, seriously, pig! Elsa looked up and immediately saw why Anna was yelling pig. It was because there was a little pig, pig running into the room and clambering up onto the desk. What that word clambering means? Let's use our context clues. It was because there was a little pink pig running into the room and clambering up onto the desk. Up onto the desk. What do you think that means? Clambering, crawling or jumping or just kind of get up, you know, scrambling up onto the desk. What the? Why? Was all Elsa could stammer before the pig crashed across her desk, scattering everything she had been working on. Anna leapt across the room, attempting to tackle the frantic animal. I told you, pig, she yelled as the wriggling creature evaded her grasp. Evaded, that's a big word. So if the creature evaded her grasp, evaded means uh, was able to get away from her. It, it, she was trying to grab it and she wasn't able to because it, it got away from her. It evaded her. Elsa waved a hand. The temperature instantly dropped. A sparkling shimmer appeared around the suddenly confused animal and formed into an icy fence. Anna looked impressed by her sister's quick reflexes. Aw, who's a cute little guy, she reached, she said, reaching into the pig pen and scratching the pig's fuzzy head. The pig cocked his head and let out a tiny squeal of happiness. Cute little guy? Elsa looked around the wreckage of her office. Pig just destroyed. She stopped and shook her head, realizing she wasn't asking the most important question. Wait, why is there a pig in the castle? Anna lit up at the question. Okay, call me crazy, but I had this idea. There's a story in the library, the one about the boar that can transform into shadows. What if we made this cute little guy into that boar? Elsa held up her hands to slow Anna down. I remember the story, but this, this, she looked at the round pink pig. It looked back at her. This isn't a boar. It's a pig. Anna scratched the happy pig's nose. It winked at her in a friendly way. But we could teach him to be a mighty shadow boar. She grabbed the pig gently by its cheeks and made happy faces at it through the icy pen. Yes, we could. Spy pig. Yes, we could. Anna. Anna finally seemed to notice Elsa's skeptical look. Okay, Anna continued, you're not loving the spy pig plan. I can sense that. Still, before Anna could say any more, the pig flexed its legs and leapt over the top of the pig pen, then ran out the door with a joyful squeal. Spy pig, come back, Anna yelled, dashing down the hallway after it. Elsa hesitated for a moment. She could stay there and review the expected revenue of the outlying farms, or she could run after Anna and help train a pig to be a mythical shadow beast. Then she realized that this distraction might just be exactly what she needed. If she could keep Anna busy, then the castle staff could make the preparations for Anna's surprise banquet without any possible interruption. It was too good an opportunity to pass up, and so she didn't. We're going to go ahead and read chapter three. The spy pig plan had been a huge success. Anna and Elsa were lying in a matching in matching collapsed heaps on a grassy patch of the royal gardens. 
They were covered in an absurd amount of mud, and Anna was pretty sure even her bruises had bruises. And Spy Pig had long since fled, disappearing back toward the castle and abandoning his very important spy missions. But it had been great fun and an entire afternoon's diversion, and that was what mattered. Anna's plan to share all kinds of new things with Elsa was well on its way. So many fun experiences that everyone should enjoy with someone they loved, all crammed into two days, culminating on the second night in the most fantastic fall Arendelle had ever seen. All right, that word culminating, that's a big word. Culminating means coming together or ending. So they would have two days of doing all of these activities and then it would end with something really big. It would all come together with the ball. And that was where the diversion came in. Diversion is another big word. What do you think that means? So when you are, di if you are creating a diversion, you are creating, it's another word for distraction. So they're tr she's trying to get Elsa to pay attention to something else so she doesn't notice the, the plans for the party going on. She's trying to distract her. Anna wanted the ball to be a surprise, and secret dances took a lot of preparation. To that end, Anna had managed to get Elsa outside for an entire afternoon so the castle staff could make plans, prepare the music and guest list, order the banners and special desserts, and then hide everything away. Then, when Elsa returned to the castle, she would be none the wiser. But Anna couldn't let Elsa know that she was purposefully being kept from the castle. There was still so much to do. Okay, Anna said, maybe Spy Pig wasn't the sneakiest of spies. Maybe, Elsa responded with a groan. Maybe it was seen by everyone in the entire village. It would have been more spy-like if I had been singing and dancing through the square. Despite our best efforts, I don't think that pig is destined to be a shadow boar. I think you're probably right, Anna said, getting to her feet. So what do we do now? Elsa hesitated. Now? There's so much more for us to do, Anna exclaimed. So many games and adventures and all sorts of things. Let's not stop now, she grabbed her sister's hands eagerly. Think about all the things you ever wanted to do with me. Together, we could learn to duel, jump rope attend a carnival, eat triple dudge fudge sundaes. Elsa looked up at her sister with a serious expression. I was hiding in my room. I wasn't dead. I ate many a triple double fudge sundae. Anna smiled, but not with me. Elsa paused for thoughts. She looked as if maybe she wanted to argue against Anna's impeccable logic. Impeccable. Hmm. Impeccable. That's another big word. Impeccable means it's perfect. It's there's just nothing wrong with it. It's wonderful. But then she sighed and Anna knew she had her sister convinced. OK, OK, Elsa said with a small laugh. It's a lot to do. So I guess we better get started. Stop for this recording and we'll get into the next two chapters on the next video.